Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 21 and it's time for Phillip Island for round 17 of our MotoGP career mode. So first things first, free practice three, we have one goal and that is to get into qualifying two directly at the end of this free practice session. If it doesn't come to it and we have to go into Q1 then better pray that we get into Q2 because it's going to be very very important to be able to go into turn one avoiding contact and avoiding a plethora of riders if anyone crashes into turn one in Phillip Island it usually means disaster for many so we're going to hope for the best hope that we can improve upon our qualifying qualifying has certainly not been our best point of our MotoGP career mode from Moto3 to Moto2 was very good but coming to MotoGP qualifying does seem to be our Achilles heel doesn't seem to have perturbed us too much. At the end of the day, we did uh, win the World Championship last season, and we are still leading the World Championship this season on board the Aprilia RSGP. Now, if you didn't see the video a while ago with my new reveal for the new team, that will be with the Monster Energy Yamaha team coming very, very soon. The second this one ends, you better believe the Yamaha season will begin. But I will mention that I have dropped the qualifying for next year's season mode, so I do apologise if you are into the qualifying and you like these particular parts, but I just find that the extra content just takes a little bit too long for me to do, and whilst I'm doing this, uh, I could really be doing more and having more time to do other videos, so I do apologise for that. I will work it around either doing a, a lap or two so you can at least see something, or I'll just do it, but it's a, literally a race from back of the grid. I'm toying with the idea of starting every race on the back of the grid, and I'm also toying with the idea of just doing the qualifying by myself, and whatever position I end up is where I'll begin to race, so uh, definitely stick around for the next season. I think uh, starting on board the Monster Energy Yamaha should be very entertaining and very exciting, so I'm very much looking forward to that, and uh, I very much hope that you are too. Well, let's get back to the action then, back to uh, Phillip Island. We have gone into second position, just 46 thousandths of a second ahead of Mar Marquez and 300 tenths of a second ahead of Johan Zarco. We're now going to the left-hand side for Siberia for turn six, getting a little bit out of shape there on the left-hand side, but nothing to cause for concern as we bring on the acceleration. Short shifting upwards there to try and get myself into the right position, just get the right amount of speed on board this Aprilia. I did find that with the Aprilia, I really had to rely on doing the manual shifts myself. I do run semi-automatic shifts, so I do have the the up shifts do themselves most of the time, but I've, I've tended to on MotoGP 21 to do a lot of the shifts myself, from downshifting to upshifting as well. So the gearing on Ride 4, if you're a fan of the Ride 4 content as well I do, don't tend to touch it at all, unless it's the downshifts. As far as the semi-automatic goes, they can do all the upshifts, I'll stick with the downshifts, but across the line we will go, I don't think we're going to improve, if we are it's going to be by a very small amount, and it is a very small improvement, so 127, 0, 0, 5, it's uh, two agents before 007, we've got 005 with the 127. So on the left hand side then, we're going into the southern loop, we're going to try to hopefully pick up a little bit more than tenths of a second here, just to get ourselves back into the top five, top six would do me. I really, really need to make sure that we get through this one. I don't want to end up leaving too early and find out that we're going to be in Q1 and having to do the business once more to try and get all the way through up into the best qualifying positions. So on the left-hand side, we're going to turn five now. Ooh, once again, just a little bit out of shape. Too eager on the on the brakes on the left-hand side there is the medium rear. It's taken a bit of a hounding already. I don't think this lap time is going to be much of an improvement. We could see some more improvements towards the end of the lap but for now it's close we've lost a tenth we've gained a tenth we're losing a tenth it's all over the place right now on the right hand side of your screens but we'll break into turn 10 running a little bit wide we lost a little bit of time so it's going to be very similar to the 127.005 we may actually get into the sub 127s for the very first time but I guess we'll see in a moment's time as that acceleration will begin to pile as we now bring on the power, going underneath the Melbourne sign, charging down to the back straight, and across the line, we do improve to a 126.997. Well, things are definitely not over yet. Matt Grant in 15th place on board the Aprilia is five and a half tenths of a second away from your man who is leading this practice session in Fabio Quattararo, the guy who will be teammates with in the next season. And I cannot believe that five tenths separates us so far. That's just unbelievable. Five tenths of a second. Half a second. It's unbelievable. 
We do go up first into the first particular sector, up to sector two, is where I'm hoping to gain a bit of time as we now go very firm on the brakes and run it a little bit deep for turn four. It looks like someone else has gone down. It looks like Alicia Spargo who's found the gravel into turn four, but we're now going to the left-hand side for Siberia for turn six. It looks like it's going to get a bit messy here, ladies and gentlemen. If Alicia Spargo doesn't end up moving his caboose, we could have a bit of an issue here. Lorenzo Salvador is trying to get through. Oliver is uh, helping me out massively as we're actually just gained half a second there. As goodness me, on the grass just a little bit. Oh, Shim Salvador, he's gone down. Oh, my goodness. Lorenzo Salvador, got completely out of shape there. So, well, I think we were almost going to do the same as we went wide into... Uh, to, oh, my God. And Alicia Spargo has gone down now. Miguel Oliveira, can you get me up into the top position? He stops in the middle of the track. Oh, for goodness sake. I was really hoping for that extra bit of speed, but it looks like we're pretty good for now. Three tenths of a second on board the soft tyres. The soft rear has already been eaten up. It's been chewed to bits, but we bring on the power. Across the line, we will go. Is this enough? Are we we're back in the top nine? Yes. Excuse my hesitation there. I wasn't sure if we were going to be in the top ten, but we got the job done, and that should send us directly through to Q2. So Pekka Banyaya, the fastest man with Quattarara Martin in the top three, we have a chance of getting, hopefully, a good qualifying position. So looking at the qualifying, and I cannot believe it, we must have missed out by the thinnest of margins. We are in Q1. The top two riders go to Q2. Let's hope it's one of us. Now, I won't lie to you, I generally thought that would be enough. I really, really thought that was enough to put us into Q2 directly, but unfortunately, we were 11th place after the free practice had concluded. We were in free practice 3 there, but I didn't take a look at the times in free practice 1 or 2, and that is why... We are stuck within the first qualifying session. We have to just get through this as quick as possible. Get through this, get into Q2, and then start using the tyres. I'm running us off now to try and put the fastest lap we possibly can in now, so we can then move into qualifying 2 as quickly as possible. I really hope we can get this done, because I'm already feeling the pressure to get ourselves into the second qualifying. I know how important this is for the race, for the championship, for the entire Grand Prix weekend. We've got to get this job done. And if we're going to be ending qualifying, I don't want to be ending on, like, last position. We want to be trying to end it in good qualifying positions towards the end of this season. So let's get on the left-hand side here. Salvadori went down here just at the lap prior on the uh, previous practice session. Of course, that was a bit of a hectic crash for the Italian as we now go on the right-hand side for turn 10. Oh, by a tenth of a second goes the man on your screens right now. So far, it's going to be Vinales, Valentino Rossi and Matt Grant who are battling it out for the top three. Rossi up there into Q2, that'd be a great job as well. Hopefully I can get through with Valentino, that would be even more special. The soft on the left-hand side of the tyre has been absolutely destroyed already. The soft option is clearly not a good option for us, but across the line we will go. Is this enough to dethrone Vinales? Yes! We did dethrone him, but for how long? Not long at all. 23 thousandth of a second separates Alex Rins and us in third position. Look at, look at Alicia Sparkrow. One thousandth of a second behind us. How close is this top five right now? Takanakagami is obviously feeling the pressure as he's just dropped his LCR Honda down the gravel somewhere. I didn't quite see exactly where that was, but it'll be somewhere around this circuit, I imagine, unless he's decided to venture off somewhere else. But for now, we'll go on the right-hand side for turn four, running it a little bit deeper into Honda. We do okay, though. We don't do too bad on the exit. Four tenths of a second is in the bag for that man on your screen right now. Mr. Grant with four and a half, now five tenths of a second. It's two tenths of a second clear from Alex Rins. Is this the qualifying lap that we need to get ourselves into Q2? Is this the one? Will it be just a short fire, quick fire session here in qualifying one? Let's hope it is. Grant so far up into the third split. It's two tenths of a second once again. This part is where we kind of struggle. I do feel we lose a little bit of time here. I lose a little bit of concentration and confidence on the acceleration point here. Getting it into the left-hand side, keeping it tight to the apex. We've run it a little bit deeper, but we'll try and bring it on now with a lot of power enabled. Let's see if we get across the line in the top position. This will be a sub 127 lap. Is it enough? Is it enough? Oh, it's a 126.574. That's job well done. Excellently done there for Matt Grant. He and Alex Rins are going on through, but what a lap for the world champion. Soon to be two times world champion with qualifying like that. So we've just seen two riders from Q1 make their way across into Q2. And now which of these 12 riders are going to feature on the front row, third row, fourth row, whatever it may be. But more importantly, 
who's going to be pole? Let's find out. Although, we have just done a pretty damn decent lap to get ourselves into Q2. I'm still feeling the pressure. I don't feel that consistent here in Phillip Island. My lap times are kind of saying otherwise. They are pretty consistent. But when it comes down to it, I always feel a little bit... I don't think I get it right. There's always a bit more that I could have had, and I don't think I get it. So this is going to be a very, very important qualifying session. So far, so good. We're up by nine thousandths of a second into the first split. We'll bring on the brakes now, going on to the brakes for turn four. And we're going into the right hand here, nice and tight to the apex. That's how I like to get that corner done. The soft front, medium rear is a very solid combination that got us here in the first place. But we have run it deep into the sixth corner here in Phillip Island. But we'll bring on the power now up oh, by two tenths of a second. Ho, ho, ho. Rub their hands together, ladies and gentlemen. We could be featuring on the front row if we continue this way. Onto the left-hand side, we'll go a little bit of front brake just to slow our motorcycle down, just to... Chucking into the left hand side, going into Lukey Heights, my favourite part of Phillip Island. Up oh, by four tenths of a second, you beauty! That's exactly what we needed. That is what, excuse the pun, the doctor ordered, i.e., Dr. Ace ordered four tenths of a second up in the third split. This could be a fantastic qualifying result for the man on your screens right now. The world champion is charging as we bring on the power with power setting three. Across the line, we will go. Where are we going to be? Rami accidentally. A 126-169. What a ridiculous lap time coming in from the number 47. Only Fabio Quattararo is featuring some red sector times there. Is he going to... Oh my goodness! Johan Zarco, a 126.070, almost a sub to oh my, oh my goodness, we've gone down, that was a massive crash, bloody hell. When Johan Zarco puts a lap time in like that, your concentration just disappears. I cannot believe that. We... We're eight tenths of a second up than anyone had been that far. We were an extra four tenths of a second up than our qualifying lap. And then he chucks in that. He is such a bugger in MotoGP 21. I love him. I love him. I love his competitive spirit in this video game. And even in real life, of course. But my God. I've got to dig down even deeper now to beat this bugger. Goodness me, what's happened there? There's a bit of carnage and Jorge Martin is going to be in the way. Can you move out the way, please, Jorge Martin? That has completely scuppered our chances of improving on this particular lap. But I just can't believe it. I'm absolutely speechless. Johan Zarco. Within seconds. Within absolute seconds. I, 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 I have no words. <laughs> no words. A perfect example. You should never, never celebrate too early. I thought we'd done it. I thought we'd had pole. I thought, I'll tell you what. I'll probably call it quits here and there. Brilliantly done. I don't believe it. I certainly don't believe that either. Johan, uh, Johan Zarco at the top of the timing sheet. And uh, Hoi Martin ditching it. Oh my goodness. I I've, I've gone. My concentration's gone, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I've lost it. That's it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. Johan Zarco is going into turn four now. He's probably going to be improving his lap times as it is. As it is. Oh, never mind. I jinxed him. <laughs> Why couldn't I have jinxed him on the previous lap? So, it's down to this. We've got four minutes remaining, ladies and gentlemen. We've only got one more lap of fuel on this motorcycle. So, I should imagine... This will be our last lap. There's no way I can hold on for another one. So let's see what we can produce. I tell you what, if we finish second place, that's bloody good. I'm very happy with that. But if we can beat him and get that top position, I'm going to be even more happier. This is very important for me now. This is it. We've got to make sure we get the job done. Just notice that Peko Banyaya, for some reason, is on a uh, KTM, according to the screen on the left-hand side. I'd ignore that for now, anyway. We're going into the left-hand side now, going into the tighter apex for Siberia. I do see a bit of green in the top right hand corner of your screen rhyming accidentally. What can we do here? Is this going to be enough to get us into pole position? Oh, we lost a little bit of time but surely we can claw it back on the left hand side here. Keeping it tight to the corner of Lukey Heights. Dropping it down into turn 10 any moment. Now, this could be it ladies and gentlemen. Just gotta keep it together. Stay focused. Johan Zark has gone down for like the third time in this session. Trying to deter us from a possible pole position. It's oh, it's going to be so close. We need a tenth. We need a full tenth of a second and I think we've just lost it by touching the rumble strip. This is our last attempt ladies and gentlemen. Is this going to be enough? We bring on acceleration. I don't think it is. It's sadly not going to be but what an effort.
What an effort. Zarko takes pole, Grant in second, and Brad Binder on the front row. How about that one then, guys? Goodness me, that was tense. <laughs> Sadly, we didn't dethrone Zarko, but starting from second place can only mean good things for the Grand Prix in just four hours' time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. Hit the like button and also consider subscribing as well for a lot more Dot Trace content. Thanks for watching and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.